Welcome to another episode of Bliss Neeks. On this adventure, we escape the rain of Perth and head north to a place called Bottle Bay in Francis Perrin National Park, Shark Bay. It was a long trip for just one full day, but the weather turned it on for us and the location was on point. Not to mention yet another perfect sunset. Enjoy. Okay, let me catch you up. Well, we decided to get out of Perth for the weekend. It's meant to be pissing down rain, which we just checked it is. So we didn't want to waste the weekend, so we decided to go north and we traveled uh, eight hours to Shark Bay in Denham. Never been to Denham before, so yeah, we wanted to bring Flav up and yeah, get away from the rain. So we got in pretty late last night, about 10.30, 11 o'clock. So we don't, haven't really seen what's going on outside, but then we check this out. Are you kidding me? What a view. We're going to check out Denham, have a cruise around, and then we're going to go north and find a campsite. There's a few camp spots up north, so just do the one night and then cruise back tomorrow. It's a bit of a mission, it's a hell of a mission just for a weekend, but it's what we do. Alrighty, we've been let in to the National Park now just opened up the gates. The ranger just come out and said, yep, we're all sweet. There might be a bit of water over the road here. Ugh. Corrugations. Water over the road here and there, but just go slow. So we're in a four wheel drive, we'll be sweet. Famous last words, probably get bogged as, but. Yeah, we're on our way in now, and we're running a little bit later than what we were expecting. It's uh, just one o'clock now. We're hoping to get in there early and find a good spot and set up camp and do a bit of fishing. But oh well, these things happen. We got a, we did a bit of travel and uh, exploring, so yeah, it's all good. Now we cruise on in and find a spot, do a bit of fishing, relax, and a couple of swannies at the end. Tell me about your four-wheel driving experience so far, babe. I'm doing so well. You're doing so well. You're a bit patting yourself on the back, are you? <laughs> You're doing pretty well. <laughs> Denim's just down here. We've shot up the Bottle Bay. Right. Settled on a camp. 
We're just gonna get everything sorted first before we go out and put a rod in the water. You can see the water from camp. Perfect little location. Unbelievable place. Beautiful. Oh, I went a line. Just got the light gear at the minute. See how we go. If something big comes along, I'll worry about the, the big gear, but light gear, all right. 30 pound uh, braid. Got me a little gold splicer. See how we go. There has been absolutely no action whatsoever. Oh well, that's fishing. I'm pretty sure I'm fishing the wrong tide, so. That's a pretty low tide at the minute. Should be a high tide that I'm fishing or a change of tide. But, I love it, still love it. This is just an amazing place. Perfect weather, sun's going down. Another hour until the uh, fish start biting, I reckon. But until then, Keep casting and casting and casting. No fish on the menu tonight. They are non-existent. <laughs> I haven't seen any action whatsoever. Anyways, we brought up some uh, Brazilian barbecue, so we're gonna chuck that on the grill pretty soon. Fill the hole, and hopefully this tide comes, we'll be in tomorrow morning, and the fish are on the bite. That would be awesome. Anyways, guys, that's it for tonight. That is... This is what we live for, eh? If that isn't one of the best endings to a day, I don't know what is. What's on the menu, babe? I can't say. I can't you can't tell. say? I can't tell. It's this a secret. Secret recipe. Yes. Flavia's secret recipe for cheese balls. Yes. What's that in your hand? 
<laughs> so secret. Brazilian barbecue, scrubs on the TV. We can't have a campfire, so this is what happens. Cheese bread in the air fryer. Woo! Look at him go. So much so that by the end of that relationship, I honestly don't know who I think so is her or me. Good morning. Beautiful clear sky for the morning. It is about quarter to seven before the sun comes up. Prime fish time, I hope. Hopefully get breakfast and start our day out pretty good compared to yesterday. Anyways, we're going to be here for a little while, probably a couple of hours and then we're going to cruise back. But yeah, we should cook up a nice breakfast. The tide's coming in a little bit, which is good. And let's go, let's do it. After seven hours of casting all up on the trip, the fish just did not want to play the game. And it was time to hit the road and head home. Another thing I've been mighty impressed with since we've been here is just the lack of rubbish. There is no rubbish on this beach at all, which is just awesome. Absolutely love it. Uh, the campsite just had a couple of little like kids toys that were might left behind by accidentally I'm tipping which we just chucked them in the bin so yeah I'm absolutely stoked on the rubbish count at this place okay camp is all packed up set sail for home about eight hours all up we should should take us and it is quarter to eleven now so Long trip home. Actually, it's going to be nine hours because we're an hour above Denham. <laughs> oh yay. <laughs> but it was worth it. It was worth coming up for the weekend, getting away from the rain. And this, we've never been here before, so happy days. As we left Denham, we made a quick stop into a place called Shell Beach. Shell Beach. One guess why.